Hey, I'm Zach with 247hockeylife.com, and here we have a deke or a move for forwards that you can, that'll help you score more goals. And when you're going to want to use this deke or move is when the defenseman's giving you a good gap, okay? So if you have a defenseman playing back off of you, a lot of times as a, as a forward, you're not going to be able to beat that guy going around him because he's giving you all of that space. So if he's not up tight on you, you want to be able to get a shot through, you want to be able to get a good quality shot on net. So what you can do, a lot of times forwards will just try to shoot right through that defenseman and shoot through the screen. It's not a bad play. But if you really want to be able to change the angle on the goalie and change that, make it harder for that defenseman, is you can come in, all right, fake the shot, step, pull it back with your backhand, and then shoot again. All right, and all you're doing here is you're changing the angle on the goalie and you're just slightly stepping out of that shooting lane so you're going to get a better shot on net, giving yourself more time and space. What I really like about this move is that you're not exposing the puck to the defenseman. So you're not coming in with the puck right here, allowing him to poke check it away. All right, you're just going to come in, fake the shot, he's going to freeze up, then you're going to pull it back, which actually is protecting the puck from the defenseman. All right, so you're coming in. Fake, pull, shoot. Come in, fake, pull, shoot. All right. <clears throat> so here, this is a deke and a move you use if the, four, or if the defenseman's giving you a big gap and you're coming down the ice, okay, by faking that shot. If you practice this over and over again, it's going to become ingrained in your muscle memory. So when you get into that situation, you're going to be able to read it quickly. A lot of times, if you don't practice these drills off the ice, when you get into those situations, you really don't know what to do. The defense is giving you too big of a gap. You're just trying to come up with something on the fly, and it's going to be really hard to make plays. If you practice this over and over again, <clears throat> all right, what I like about it is when you get into that game situation, you're going to be able to make adjustments. So maybe you're going to come down, okay, fake, pull it right here, and you're so comfortable, maybe you'll see somebody's open, okay? So you can slide the puck across to someone coming down on the back door. And you're going to be able to make those reads and make those plays and become more of a complete hockey player and a playmaker because you've practiced this situation so many times. So go out there, do the deke of the week, come in, fake the shot, pull it on your backhand, get a quick snapshot. It's going to allow you to score more goals, be more confident hockey player, and ultimately, what we want to see you do is we want to see you improve and use the off-ice training to help you improve on the ice. That's the whole goal here with the off-ice training, so you can improve on the ice. Situational drills like this. I'm Zach. I hope this video helped you become a better hockey player. Thanks for watching.